The Youngstown Fire Department has stopped using its fire trucks for emergency medical calls. This after it was determined what they were doing was illegal. The fire department needs what are known as standing orders from a hospital and is working to get them, but in the meantime, cannot help the city's ambulance service, AMR, when needed. Fire Chief Barry Finley says there's been more of a need to help AMR with emergency responses, so Youngstown would send its trucks and a paramedic or EMT. But Youngstown lacks standing orders from a hospital where a doctor can guide first responders until a patient arrives at a hospital. Chief Finley was told by the Ohio Division of Emergency Medical Services that operating without standing orders was illegal, so the service has been stopped. Councilwoman Anita Davis, who chairs Youngstown Safety Committee, wants the trucks put back into use for medical responses. My understanding is we have 19 paramedics and 27 EMTs at the uh, Youngstown Fire Department um, with certifications who are certified. And if we have that kind of uh, talent, skills at our fire station, and if they are receiving any kind of bonuses or things like that, um, from the city for having the certification, then we should put that talent in, into use. Chief Finley says he's looking into asking University Hospital in Ravenna to provide standing orders. Finley says Mercy Health does not provide the service, and AMR said no, which Finley says he understands. President of the Youngstown Firefighters Union, John Racco, released a statement which read in part, the firefighters have always been willing to be ready to help the citizens. In order to do that, proper planning, procedures, and protocols have to be in place. The only way that can happen is by sitting down at the bargaining table and negotiating something we implore the Brown administration to do.